Hello and welcome back to the Knights of the Smith Dinner Table actual play video of the Legend of the Ramble House Saints, a giant slayer adventure path done in Savage Pathfinder. So when last we left our valiant heroes, the uh, heroes of Trenau, if you will, or whatever you want to call them, they had docked at one of the stopping points that Captain Blood Tusk wanted to stop at and drop off some equipment. They discovered that it had been overrun by orcs. The horses that were here were dead, as well as the at least one person had been captured while the orcs were busy looting this way station. And with that, <clears throat> pardon me, uh, is where we'll begin. So you guys have these three orcs lying on the ground dead, and there is a human woman bound and gagged back here against the back wall for whom Blizz played the romance card. That's right. Uh, <laughs> uh, one of the orcs was not quite dead yet. We actually knocked one out. Uh, I believe that would have been this one, I think. I don't remember exactly. But uh, what yes, it was that one that's unconscious and not dead that you're going to let her finish it off. Yep, I was going to go set her free. Okay, so I will remove her entangled and bound statuses, and oh, and hand her the halberd. Or she, she got weapons on her. Sorry, she does not. Her weapons are actually in a pile. Oops, um, over here. And as you pull the gag off of her, she says, "Thank you, thank you, friend. I oh. thought for sure that the orcs were going to kill me." And you notice that she only has eyes for Blizz. Well, well, that's no problem. And we left one for you to seek your revenge on. Revenge? Probably not. But Justice? I will ensure he gets questioned. We've seen a lot of, or I should say, I've seen a lot of orcs passing down river quite, quite frequently of late. I am Calrian Blix of the Knights of Ozrum. And, and who are you, sir? Blizzender Moonbeam. And these are my companions, Crato, Spike, and Thid. And she finally looks at the rest of you and says, Thank you, all of you. You, you did truly save my life. I do not think I would have survived the night. What are you doing here? This is an outpost for the Knights of Ozrum. Um, usually what happens is traders will make a stop, deliver any supplies that we ordered, and uh, they'll be dropped off here, and then a weekly patrol comes and picks them up. I'm just here this week to keep an eye on things. I did not expect as much trouble as I ran into. Why, why were the orcs here just to take your things? Uh, most likely removing me, so that way there was no one here watching the river. As Blizz goes and starts lightening the loads of all these orcs. I thought you, like, you said lightning, and I thought you said lightning, like the storm, and you were just like hitting them with bolts. <laughs> I like the thought of Blizz just going around and executing every one of them. Well, yeah, we're leaving one alive to question. Just uh, reaching out and giving them a shocker. <laughs> um, well, Thid's outside. He's going to just do a notice check to make sure nothing okay. else is going on. Sneaking up. Oh, look at that. Total of seven with an Never ace on that know. D4. That's um, almost game. So you're pretty sure that if there are any other orcs in the area, they are not close enough to have heard the fight or for you to even spot. All right. Uh, Blizz, anything significant on any of them? Anything out of um, the ordinary? No details. They're oddly loaded for orc raiders. Like, they have money on them. That's, that's odd. Yeah, they they each had 
a sack of 500 coins each, which makes me wonder if they were paid to do this. Yeah, I don't see where they, they would come up with 500 coins out here in the middle of the wilderness, but... Well, we've got one to question. Would Do you need a ride, Miss Blix? You're ah, again. playing the hard to hard to get oh. game. I apologize. <laughs> she says uh, no, but I uh, I'm expecting the patrol to be coming through in the next day or so, and I will mount the orcs' heads on pikes, and that should scare off any of the others who come. So, why? Why did you folks make your way here, of all places? I didn't expect to see adventurers in this part of the world. Well, well we're traveling with Rag Blood Tusk. Oh, does he have my supplies? Yeah, well, well uh, Thid, will you shoot the signal to start unloading the supplies? We came out without them because it looked like things were wrecked here first. Yeah, I'll do it. The fiddle. Okay. Do, 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 do. Go back over this way, right? We came from like out here. Yeah, or, to the south is where the yeah. pier is. So it'll peek around. So are you folks just guards for Captain Blood Tusk or It's a complicated relationship. We're working with him as he takes us to closer to Red Lake Fort. We're Going to take down Grinsel Deck. She didn't order a big gorilla, did she? Mm, no, I did not order a gorilla, but you said Red Lake Fort? Yep. And she looks thoughtful for a moment and then she walks over to the uh, cabinet here and she pulls out a. Uh, a piece of parchment that she then spreads out on the table and it's a map of a fort and she says my ancestor uh fabian, it's gonna wander in at this point fabian blix he was the fort fort's cleric he died during the final siege of the fort but one of his sons my great grandfather escaped through a hidden sewer tunnel and the map that she shows you, I forgot to put in, but I will make sure that is done before uh, next session, before you guys get to Red Lake Fort. But Yeah, we got a bit. <laughs> the uh, map that she shows you does show the majority of the fort itself, including where the sewer tunnel is. Um, and she says, now, I believe that this is submerged. I don't know what the fort is like nowadays, so it might not be, but this should help you. And uh, if you can, I would definitely like to learn the fate of my great-great-grandfather, Fabian. And well, if you let me uh, borrow this map, I'll make sure we uh, get it back to you. She nods in assent, and as you guys are doing that, everybody make a notice check. <clears throat> Helps if I flip things back here. All right. I got a five. A four. And we still need a spike. Yeah. Um, I don't see my option for it uh, under skill? Sh should be under skills nope. oh okay it was blending in with something on the map uh, i'm sitting here staring at the screen and i'm like what <laughs> yeah, if you can't find it in the hud it's always in the uh character, character sheet. sheet nobody yeah. failed nobody failed the lowest roll was a four uh nobody got a raise either though that's true so as she's talking about her great-great-grandfather uh, Fabian Blix, 
you guys all notice that she seems a little disturbed by something. What? What's what's with the grandfather thing? Well, it's kind of a long story, but you see, he he was the priest there, and my grandfather or great grandfather. He escaped and he would very rarely talk about anything that he saw happen there. So something terrible must have happened. And from the stories that have been passed down, they, they paint the uh, Castellan of the fort as a despicable, vile man. And though my great grandfather hardly spoke at the time of his time at the fort, he did mention that or not he didn't mention any mention of the fort or its castellan would cause him to pale and, and tremble. So something bad happened there. Beyond the orcs capturing it all those years ago. Uh, I mean, we're not ghost hunters, uh, but we could see, I guess, hopefully, maybe for, find for, some information. And I'll just reach my hand out and just gently pat hers and I'll be like, for you, I'll make sure that we figure out what happened. And she smiles gratefully at you. That's <sighs> a very low probability, Blizz. I, I'm not sure. Well, let me... Let me reward you at the very least. I have a very fine saddle that you are welcome to. Giggity. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the horseman's saddle? Yes. Did you find it already? Yeah, the horse died. I figured as much. I heard the horses screaming, and I saw at least one being dragged off into the woods by one of those dire wolves. It's okay. I've got a horse on the ship. Rag just doesn't know it yet. Ah. Do you happen to know any information about the Vault of Thorns while we're here? Hmm. Nothing really. I mean, there's rumors and legends of it, but none of them agree on any one thing. Oh, well, um, we've got to go loot that first, and then we're going to Red Lake Fort, so... Well, uh, pardon me, I had to yawn. Um, I wish you the greatest of luck, and please, if you learn anything of my ancestors, please bring me the news back, because I'm certain that if you're going to return, where did you come from? Uh, for now. Ah, I heard that there was a big fight there a, a few weeks ago. So clearly, True Now won, if you folks are here. Well, we are the ones who have to win. That is excellent. Excellent to hear. Well, hopefully on your way back, you guys will find the time to swing by and see me again. And she definitely is eyeing Blizz as she says that. Which the rest of you find mildly disturbing. Well, all right. Uh, we should probably go help them unload or something. Anything else? <laughs> Feel free. How, how I'm gonna get rolls up the map and tucks it in his pocket. I have a scroll case, I think. I think I have a scroll case. Hmm. That'll that'll protect that a little better. Oh, well, here you go. I want to take the unconscious one and put him on this chair right here and make sure he's bound pretty well. Okay. Uh, make a survival check for that. Ooh. Yep, I got a map case. So, untrained. All right. All right. Which apparently I don't have untrained on my bar. 
pull it out of the compendium. Th- I was about to say it should be the very last one on your skills. Uh, nope. Oh, weird. It's there on mine. Yeah, I may have I'm missed just- it because when uh, the characters get transferred from Savaged, it's a uh, different unskilled that they have listed, and I pulled the one actually for the module in, and I may have forgotten to do it on a character or two. How dare you? Looks like Kratos was the only one I missed. Didn't expect him to live this long. I mean, that's fair. Not that you guys have faced many giants yet. Oh, there's an ace. All right, total of four. So yeah, you think you've done a pretty solid job tying them up. All right, cool. And um, just that you want to post these other two on pikes, I will go out, take them outside, and work on beheading them for her. And she happily lets you do that. You're guessing that she did not uh, like the idea of having to do it, but she was willing to do it. I'm gathering some javelins just in case I need to throw something. I have got the yawns today. Okay, so after all of that, um, Blood Tusk does have his crew use the uh, dinghies to bring over all the equipment, and unfortunately that means it takes several hours to do, whereas it probably would have been an hour or less had he been able to uh, dock, but with the dock being in the condition it's in, not a safe thing to do. Oh, does that mean we get to partake in questioning the orc? If you so wish, yes. I mean, it's, we got time. Um, we will do this as a. I'm gonna. Are you guys gonna take anything else off the other two orcs? Um, I guess not. I don't think so. Uh, there wasn't anything special, right? Falchions and javelins. Yeah, I'm sure we could give it to the crew to use. Okay, so you'll take it for the crew? Yep. All right, so I'm just going to move them off the map. And I'm going to give him his wound back so he doesn't show up as dead on the thing. And he won't be shaken anymore. But this is going to be a social conflict. Woo-hoo! We haven't done one of those before, and I actually need to open up the rule book for this because I was reading it the other day. And while I remember most of it, I don't remember all of it. I think social encounters. I think Thid. <laughs> I mean, there's more than one way to handle it. And it's a social conflict. Oh, there's going to be some conflict with this guy's ankles and kneecaps. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Thid can just keep him alive. All right. So on page 164 of the uh, Pathfinder for Savage Worlds. Okay, so the way that a social conflict is broken down is... You get three rounds of basically conversation. You can say stuff if you want, or you can just make the roll. That is totally up to you. Um, Every action is opposed by either their persuasion or spirit. So um, who all is going to participate in this? I heard Kratos for certain. Oh, Blizz is definitely in. Um, so, like, what are the rules you're saying? So, it's against their spirit and persuasion, yes. but what are we rolling? Either intimidation, taunt, persuasion, um, basically any of the social skills that you want to use. Now, one of you will need to take lead, and the rest of you would be assisting. So. Um, do you, both of you speak orc? 
I mean, I speak orc. I do not speak orc. Okay, then I will just play translator. Okay. And I guess science isn't really a... Um, translator and then just common knowledge for if the orc says something that I sh- might know something about. Okay. I mean, I'm just going to be menacing there with my, uh, with my hammer. <laughs> yeah. Ath- ath- athletics and is a social skill, I guess. <laughs> no, athletics is or, not or, a social or skill. Or fighting. But intimidation <laughs> is. No. And I do I- believe... I have intimidation. And so does Kratos. All right. So it sounds like they're going to leave either Spike or Blizz to be the lead questioner. Spike, you want to take the lead on the questions? Um, well, I don't speak orc. We got a translator. And the orcs typically do speak common. Okay. Was it the dumb orc? True. All he right. Looks pretty so dumb. He tried I will to fight add us. you all into here. And for each success that the lead person gets, you guys will get a token. And you want to try and get as many tokens as you can in the three rounds. So as we start the first round, I only put it into the combat tracker just to uh, keep track of the number of rounds. All right. So, wow. That uh really helped you guys out. Yeah. Spike got the red joker and Kratos got the black. So that will help on your rolls. Okay. Should so we have gotten off, two bennies? Yeah. Uh, should have, but it looks like That's you guys only got one that. each. So That's I will fine. fix that. I'm going to mute for just a moment. I have a screeching toddler in the background. Okay, so Fid, Blizz, and Kratos, each of you can make your rolls to uh, aid with the skill that you are using. So intimidation, uh, common knowledge in the case of Fid. Oh, Matt, that damn. All righty. Fredo, not so much. Oh, wait. Benny did. For a success. They had knocked it out the park with an 11. Let's see what mine. I also got a 7 on mine. And I'm just sitting there, just kind so, of taking my, so, my mallet and it's kind of like tapping at my hand. And. I I just am sharpening my claws and just talk to the cactus or else you're going to have to deal between me or the big guy. Okay. Sorry, I was muted because the screaming toddler was coming by and I didn't want everybody to have to suffer that. All right, so it looks like Blizz gives a plus one, Thid gives a plus two, and Kratos is going to give a plus one. What skill are you going to use? In this, uh, like Spike. Oh, okay. Um, find one to do your questioning with yeah. intimidation, persuasion, something like that. Well, you lo- I don't have intimidation, so if you look at your character sheet, you can kind of see what you're better yeah, at. That's where I'm on. Dice. Yeah, I mean, pretty much the only thing I can do is persuasion. All right, so make a persuasion roll and make sure that you add the plus four to it from the modifiers for better rolls there at the bottom. Nice. <laughs> All right. So well, maybe you should take over, Blizz. Yeah, yeah, that. <laughs> Because that was a critical failure for those of us who just listened to us. She rolled a pair of ones. And as she's getting ready to speak, the orc just starts screaming at her uh, in orc. And Thid and uh, Kratos, he's not making any sense. It's just like 
he is doing what a toddler does, and he's just trying to outscream you. So in the first round, you guys gain no tokens. And that'll take us to the next round. Oh, I got this. All right. So who is going to be lead on this round? Oh, I, I, I got this. And then Thid's going to think of some things that, like, would bother an orc or get him to, like, kind of pay attention. Stop acting like a toddler. So, like... And, a, nothing. And, and Thid doesn't help. Uh, and, but I got a Benny. So I got a bunch. Of, oh, and then I did worse, so... <laughs> All right. Thid, so, Thid just starts mocking the orc the way the orc's mocking the group. All right. Uh... <laughs> Kratos and Spike. All right. Yeah. I'm going to shout louder than the orc and just tell him to shut the fuck up. Now there's three of us. The orc, Sid, and Kratos all screaming. I mean... Mm. All right. Kratos comes in with a success. And then, uh, Spike, what are you doing? You know, I feel like, honestly... There's a lot of noise going on. Spike's not really sure if people are all just screaming at her now or each other. Um, getting a little overwhelmed. So I feel like Spike's like hyperventilating and <laughs> trying to figure out what the fuck everybody's screaming about. So okay. I'm just analyzing everybody trying to like what is going on. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. So yeah. that leaves us with <laughs> Blizz with a net modifier of minus one instead of minus two, at least. That's fine. I reach into my pouch and I pull out my merchant scales. I set the three sacks of coins that I took off of each of the orcs on one side. And I look pointedly at the orc's crotch as I just calmly walk up to him and say, Talker, we're going to see how much these weigh against how much you were paid. All right. That is definitely an intimidation check. Oh, yeah. And you said I'm at a minus one. Correct. We what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> That's another critical failure. Oh my god, that is freaking hilarious. We suck. Hey, Ed, remember that card you have? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you might want to oh, play that. Oh, what card would that be, Ed? Um, I got this one that says things. Um, <laughs> get a clue. I don't actually like hit it to play. It won't show up. Yeah, it won't show up yet. Okay. Um, so I have a get a clue. My action card says play this card for advice from the game master on how to resolve a current predicament or problem or to find all the ca clues or evidence in a particular scene, which we definitely could use. Um, as we're all failures, <laughs> really, really big failures. I, I'm showing my wife your guys's roles at this point. So oh, it's, yeah. it's bad. Thank Black God we're not in combat. Yeah, we wouldn't be in combat actually because we'd all be dead. So <laughs> can they see their roles? Yes, they can see their roles. You guys are. Yep. Right. We felt them. <laughs> felt them in our loins. Doing great tonight. <laughs> Doing great okay. tonight. <laughs> Dustin's yes. mocking you. No, I, Thid is mocking the voice no. in his head. All right. So, first we'll deal with the uh, results of, of that roll. And as Blizz makes that threat, the orc just starts laughing uproariously. And uh, with that, that uh, card there, as you're looking him over, Thid, the first thing you notice is he's got a tattoo on his forearm of a nail, but the nail is kind of twisted and bent. And then you look at the other two bodies and they have the same tattoo. 
The other uh, thing is their boots are extremely muddy. Like they've been traveling through um, swampland and they haven't been on a boat or anything. And the only swampland you know is from the north. So these, these orcs definitely came from somewhere north. And as for the gold um, that you guys found on them, your guess is because it's not in like nice and shiny purses, it's actually in like ratty, tattered leather pouches. Um, it's probably loot that they took off of other bodies. And it was just their share. So they probably had a pretty sizable merchant's caravan at some point. Um, the third's going to kind of pull Blizz to the side and whisper this to him as to not let the orc hear what he's noticed. Uh, maybe that'll help you with your questions. Uh, I don't know. But he's got real muddy boots. And the next round. Oh, sorry. I did not realize I had muted myself that time on. Yeah, is Mike on mute as well? No, I'm just sitting here thinking for a okay. moment. You're good. I just want to make sure. All right. So. As I uh, said, while muted to cap off that round and, and finish what was said. Uh, I told you that he laughed, correct? You guys heard all? all yes. Okay, good. Um, so we're in the third and final round. Who is going to take point on this round of the social? Uh, Liz, you just want me to? You just want want me to grill him on what I see, or you got it? I got this. All right. And then so he'll just okay. support him with. A notice check, because that seems applicable, because he's noticing all this stuff about him. All right. God, really bad. There goes a Benny. Oh, that ace that time. There so we go. That's better. That was a seven. Sid got a success. All right. What about Kratos? What's he going to do? All about? right. So I'm going to reach out with my free hand and kind of like grab his necklace and kind of like not necessarily choke him with it, but like kind of like pull him forward. So we're kind of seeing eye to eye. And I'm just going to tell him, like, you better fucking listen right now. Okay, that would be an intimidate. Coming in with a five, which is a success. And last but not least, Spike. How are you going to help um, the situation? Well, you know. Put your I finger guns Kratos. at him. Yeah, uh, literally. <laughs> I see Kratos. <laughs> Got a hold of him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna literally point my little spiky ass stub at him and say, "I just need you to talk to my friend and calm the fuck down and quit screaming at us." That would be an intimidate roll, which, since you don't have intimidation, yeah, is a unskilled <laughs> check. This nice. cat is just threatening to take his eye out with her. Do I, yeah. Do I get a plus? Something? No, no, not That's yet. Right. But this this cactus also intimidated a halfling before, so I, yeah. I have faith in it. Intimidated the shit out of it, a halfling. Aww. All right, right now with a total of two, you are failing. We'll yeah. try it again. We'll, right. we'll be there, risque. There goes that there you go. with an ace. Oh, 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 oh close. It's wow. still a failure though at three. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, you guys got two bonus pennies. You can keep going if you Fine. want. Fine. Fine. <laughs> Oh, there's an ace there, on D6. There it is. That's all you and needed. That is a success. He actually looks a little frightened as you point your uh, yeah. cactus splines at him. And a few of them you. start to grow. Mm. Or not grow, glow. And uh, let's see. That's going to be a total of plus three because you got three successes on the aids. So, Blizz, make your intimidate with the plus three. I pull out Grinsel Dick's letter. And just hold it up to his face. See the hammer the big guy's got? That's a Skaroth's hammer. I set the rock 
on the other side of the scale. See that rock? This is what Grinseldeck wants. We killed the guy who went to get it. Do you want to join him today? And that'll plus three. Come on, no fail. There we oh, go. There That's go. nice. That's a 14 total. All right. So he definitely looks terrified now. <laughs> or if not terrified, he's definitely cowed. And he pretty much tells you that he's a member of the Twisted Nail tribe, which has been pretty much subsumed by the Twisted Heart tribe, which is a tribe of uh, hill giants. Right, which is gr the one Grinseldick leads. And he and his uh, pack, for lack of a better term, were sent south to sow chaos. And his group left on foot. So they had to traverse the, uh, the swamps without any aid other than the fact that uh, orcs are pretty hardy. And he does admit to you that the, uh, the money that they took did come from merchants that they jumped. And with that, that'll end the social conflict. And you guys have new information. And I look at Blix. Is that everything you needed? I believe so, yes. Um, I don't think we need him anymore. Kratos, do what you do. <laughs> and I will actually switch to my mall here and just Gallagher his head. All right. And since he is pretty much helpless, that he, I mean, there's no need to roll. You, you uh, Gallagher his head pretty effectively. And for those of you out there who are not familiar with Gallagher, uh, I recommend ga uh, Googling Gallagher and Watermelon, and you will not be disappointed. Or listen to our previous game of Deadlands, where Armin the Hammer Gallagher was a prominent character. Indeed. All right, so you guys have the information. They get everything offloaded, and with some goodbyes to Calrian, and a promise to come back to see her again, at least from Blizz. She stands on the end of the docks, mournfully eyeing you folks, and you're pretty sure that it's Blizz that she's eyeing more than anybody as you take the dinghy back to the uh, riverboat. And I am going to switch back to the boat. And the next day. As we start heading back. Oh, she seemed nice. And it's going <laughs> to say, uh, Blitz, smile at me for a second. I think you might have something in, my, in your teeth. She was staring at you a lot. <laughs> Suck my teeth real quick. Am I good? Uh, I think you're good. No, no, no. I'm going to kind of like rib Blizz a little bit with my elbow, which, you know, I have to kind of bend down to get there. Be his forehead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> at least told her where we're going, right? So she can send letters, right? Right. Wait, what? <laughs> and the camera pans away. Fade to black. Yeah. Man, sometimes you're the mountain that gets climbed. Sometimes you got to climb the mountain. Sometimes you're the goat. Yeah, I, I'm just going to leave that one alone. Uh, <laughs> way to make A mountain it weird, goat, Dustin. James. Way to make it weird, <laughs> Dustin. You had to oh, my God. Gosh. All right. So that night, you guys pretty much camp in the uh, in the boat off in the river. And as you guys start up on the fourth day of travel, 
several miles up the river esque as the kill how many days are we supposed to spend on this boat a total of about seven okay uh provided you don't run into any serious issues but i'm sure those chances are minimal right um oh i apologize so the killboat's draft horses are slowly pulling the boat up steam or upstream, upstream, upstream. And as you come around a bend, you see a crude dam constructed of large boulders, animal carcasses, and mud blocking your route upstream. And, and I'm just kind of like slow look at Rag. Are you expecting this? And he just shakes his head no. That can't be good for the water. Um, why don't you folks go and check things out and see if there's any way that can easily remove it? Crater, we're going to go break a dam. Damn it, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I like this Crater's getting a personality. This is nice. I'm going to give Kratos a Benny for that. It um, turns out when he's not raging 24-7. Right. <laughs> and I almost forgot. I'm going to add it to each of your sheets. Each of you got a point of conviction for successfully getting the information from the orc. And murdering a defenseless orc. I mean, are they really defenseless? I mean, he was kind of bound. <laughs> he was pretty defenseless. I mean, he would have done the same for me. <laughs> yeah, like, absolutely. Were, I'm not saying that's wrong, but they were trying to murder people. Yeah, yeah they were murderers. All right. And it looks like TV is not getting vision. Do you guys have vision right now? I have vision. Yes. Yep. I saw the signs. I opened up, opened my, up eyes. my eyes. All right. Let me check the lighting situation. No, it's all good. So I'm going to refresh the viewers. I don't think the I don't think the viewers had loaded in yet. I uh, didn't see their symbol. I saw it on my uh, scene list, but give it that a moment, and now they can see. There we go. They clear out this yep. error message and all right. So as you can see, that that dam is up there ahead of you. And so, uh Dam Dam. Indeed. You're pretty certain that this was not built by beavers. Just at a glance. Can we tell what it's made of at a glance? Uh yeah, that's actually pretty easy. Um with a notice check. Five passes. Five does indeed pass. Anybody else? Uh sure. And it's easy. I'm sure I can fail it. Yep, I'm sure you're, I can uh, yep, critically fail it. Wrong. As yep. it comes in with a two, Crito yep. comes in with a two. Good thing it's easy and you don't even need a notice check. No, uh, Chris comes, seven. comes in with a yeah. seven. I got two. Spell uh, got the two. Okay. Must be because I'm so little. I can't see that far. <laughs> um, not sure why, but Nick will appreciate this one. That is shades of uh, Kayla. <laughs> All right. So for Credo and Blizz, this is definitely mud, primarily. Looks like there's a few animal carcasses tossed in. Um, lots of boulders, so whatever it was that built it had to be fairly large. And Gigantic, if you will? Possibly, yes. But as for an easy way to take it down, um, you're, you're definitely going to have to get closer to inspect it a little more thoroughly before you can really see what it's made uh what it's truly made of and how hard it'll be to take it down 
All right, let's get closer. Feel free to move. Down, 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 down. Single move. I mean, I could potentially try to blow it up with some sort of explosive concoction. I could also unleash havoc on it. Yeah, um, I, just, I don't think I can do much to help here. I'm not gonna you lie. You don't think Havoc's gonna have enough wherewithal as you're getting closer? It looks like it was pretty solidly built. All right, now I get to it in three moves. And everybody else is kind of jogging to keep up with you. And the top of the dam has definitely been beaten down a bit to make it uh, easier to cross. Can I attempt a size check to see if I can think of any reasonable way for me to try to blow it apart to make a hole big enough for the ship? Absolutely. Make that science roll. And with a seven. Um, so the river is definitely flowing from this direction to this direction. And right. you think that if you got a big enough charge right in this area where it's at its thickest, you might be able to make a big enough hole that the water pressure on the upstream side will just punch through and then it'll start to tear the dam apart. And hmm. there's about a five foot difference in the water level on this side to this side. Water's okay. still seeping through, but not at the rate that it would be if uh, the dam were removed. All right. <clears throat> um, so here's what I'm thinking, Bliss. And uh, Kratos, I think I need you for my plan, too. Um, I could probably go out there a little ways and set off some sort of uh, alchemical contraption. Um, maybe it'll make a hole big enough, but the water is a bit higher on the, let's call it the northern side. Um, so, Credo, I'm going to have to tie a rope to myself, and if I can't make it back here in time and the water takes me, I need you to pull me up. You're just going to do it on surface level, or are you going to kind of get it in the meat of the dam by digging a hole? Uh, the closer uh, you are to the lower water level, the more effective it's going to be. I don't know. I'm sure my scientific brain will figure it out, but Dustin's really bad at role-playing this shit. <laughs> so. <laughs> so you're going to want me to go out there and dig a hole for you to put it in? I, I can dig a hole. I, I, I'm not, a big, I'm not a, a big wuss. And I'd rather you be there to pull me just in case. Um, and then, Blizz, as far as for you, this will probably be some sort of pyrotechnics. And I've noticed you're kind of scared of them. So if you could pre prevent yourself from looking at it so we don't have to, like, get you out of the water, that you're, would be... You're going to blow it up. You're not setting it on fire. Well, there might be some sparks, and I don't know how sensitive you are. So, uh, okay, I'm going to go out here. So let's see, what do I actually have? Uh, do, 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 do. I don't have a whole lot of... So do you have a rope? Uh, yeah, I should. I do have a rope because I've got a traveler's or adventurer's kit thing. You've got um, the bomb power and power points. Yeah, so I'm just. I was just thinking if I had any like physical items, yeah. but you know that I it's. Don't. It's going to take several castings of bomb. Yep. So how many would you? How many would you like me to use? Um, as many as it takes. Okay, I didn't know if it was just going to be like, oh, this is an eight PowerPoint big kablooey. No, I got Or numbers. if I'm, if I'm casting numbers. bomb. Okay, so am I doing like damage to it? Is that the idea? Yes. Okay, gotcha. So you'll need to move out there. Because um, yep. otherwise it'll be out of your range. So yep. we said meaty was like right here. Well, what is that range? Because my range is 10. Mid is about right here. Okay, sorry. I thought this is where you were pointing. So cool. So I will get out here and dig a hole. So you're uh, going to come down far? the side of the dam? I thought I was just going to dig it like in the middle of the dam, like right here. You could, but it's going to take a lot more application to get what you, the result you want. What he said was you wanted to kind of get down to water level oh. on this okay. side. That's fine. I so 
I can do up. that. Hold, hold the dwarf. Yeah, hold the rope. Um, All right. So do I need to make a check. Kratos would not need to get... be out here with the rope to keep him from falling in. Yep, because there's not any kind of fulcrum. Does anybody have a climber's kit? Nope. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, nope. No climber's kit. All right. Do, I, do, will, do, do. I will come out there. Do, 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 do. Nope. All right. Yeah, my thought was just you to keep me from going downstream once I do blow it up, but that's fine. Yeah, for you to hang All in right. position to dig your hole big enough to to put your bomb in, he's going to have to keep you out of the water. Do I need to hands. do like an athletics check or anything? To No, no, he's got you on the rope. And I see okay. Spike is staying over there. So go ahead and cast your bomb power for the first time. And don't worry about placing the template. Okay. All right. So that is a success with a raise. Go ahead and roll them bones. All right, so you blow us a, a decent chunk out of the water, and as you do, I need, let's see, Spike wouldn't be able to, but Blizz and Kratos both get notice checks. Nine. Blizz crushing it. Kratos focused. Still Kratos crushing it. Kratos with a four, and... Let me. Do this. I know. I, I get up. All right. Well, not, uh, you guys are not surprised as from under the water. Um, these three ogres would be the best way to describe them. Um, let, let me show you a picture of them because a picture is worth a thousand words. And while I know that, uh, our listeners can't see it. I'll, I'll describe it for the listeners. Absolutely. And there we go. All right, so what we're seeing is if Jason Momoa from Aquaman was hideous. <laughs> Which is pretty hard like. to imagine. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I mean, that's a very, very uh, solid. It's super accurate. Yeah, yeah green skinned with, uh, with a mossy blue hair. Eating, eating an octopusy. Yeah. That's, that's inappropriate. Yeah, but Maybe so are we all. You just wanted a snack, dude. All right. So as these guys come roaring up out of the water, um, Blizz and Kratos will get to act on the surprise round with them. And Excellent. I will start the fight. So up first is this one right here, right here closest to Kratos in the middle of the dam. And it comes up and out of the water with ease. And as it gets up next to Kratos, it roars in anger and attempts to uh, claw Kratos. This might be bad for Thid. It might be bad for Thid. And I need what? to change that back to a public roll. There we go. And. Oh, why is what? Oh, why is Wild Attack not on their modifiers? I wonder. They don't need it. Yeah, they're good. All right. So the first one swings out at Crado and misses. Then we go to the next one up. Hold on, who is that one? Okay, I got these two mixed up. So this one will come in. And it's going to swing at Kratos, also with its claws. And it misses Kratos, even with its gang up bonus. Why does it have a range penalty of two? 
it should not have a range penalty. That's kind of odd. Yeah, did the first one have that too, I wonder? He did. Wacky. I don't know why that went. Okay. Because right. you took it off of the critical failure before. Ah. All right, Blizz, you are up. You see these two large humanoid giant things. What are you going to do? Well, they stepped to Kratos, which that's, that's their own fault. I do not feel bad for what's about to happen to them. This one over Valid. here, though, hasn't left the water yet. Indeed. So we're going to pop a couple of extra power points to this bolt. All right. Which will hit with a, basically raise damage. Yep. Just a basic hit, but you added the extra power points for damage, and it does not get through. So he pops up Benny to reroll that damage, and it's actually worse. It is worse. Let's try this one more time. There we go. All right, so that would be enough to cause a wound. And it is going to attempt to soak it. Of course it soaks it. I mean, to be fair, it's got a really nice vigor. And it soaked all of the wounds, so it should not be shaken, but it's still showing the icon on there. And that's my turn. All right. Then it is going to join the fray. Hold on. It should not have a penalty for moving through the water. What is its pace? Okay. It's gone four, five, six, seven. And it does, whoops, it does have some reach there. So it is going to lash out. Oh, I see what else is missing. Um, let me run this patch. And is it, is it swinging athletics with its claws rather than fighting? Um, let me see. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. That's why the range oh. thing was throwing up an error because it's using athletics instead of fighting die. Yep. And that's because it doesn't have anything listed in fighting. All right. So let's try this with the real roll. Hey, look, it's got everything on there, including their frenzy ability. Oh, fuck. All right. Neither of those hit. And I'm going to go through and fix the other two real quick. Like. And then, after I do that... All right. I was going to say, this was not going to be a very challenging fight. Then it goes to Kratos' turn. All right. I'm going to holler back to Thid to... Uh, we're under attack to get in the hole and get work done. And I'm going to let go of the rope with one arm draw my hammer all right. and we'll hit this guy right next to me. Uh, the one to the north? Yes. All right. Go ahead and make that fighting roll as you swing Agrimash, the hammer of an making at it. Wildly by the looks of it. Yep. And with a total of 13, that is a hit with a raise. Go ahead and roll that damage. All right. And as we hit him with this hammer, is he a humanoid? He is a giant. Okay. And which, I don't like that damage, so I will Benny it. Which giants are humanoids? All right. Did it not? Uh, oh, nope. I clicked the wrong button. 
Ah, let me give you that Benny back. Yep, so I can reapply it to the actual damage and not the actual one. Like, yep. I didn't think this did a D12 worth of damage. No, but it does that much worth of damage. Jesus, the dice just went nuts. All right. 37. From a 9 to a 37. I'm going to apply that damage. And it limited it to four wounds. It gets a soak check. As I toss a Benny in, it fails the soak check. So it goes down hard. And it just kind of tumbles back off the dam into the water and is floating heads up in the water or face up in the water. And uh, I believe that is Kratos' turn. Yep. So I am going to add Spike. And I'm going to add Thid. All right. And it looks like Kratos is up first with the Red Joker. Yeah, All right. These, these ogres are fucked. There's another ogre right here. And I'm going to do him just like I did the other one. All right. It's hammer time. That is a hit, but no raise. Uh, we'll fish for the raise. We just got a Benny. All right. There it is. Hit with a raise. All right. Uh, and it. It is humanoid. I, I forgot about that. So it gets a vigor check. Yep. At a minus four. And so let me add that on and then roll. And it fails, which reduces it to size zero. No, size one, because it only reduces it by one step. Correct. So now it's the same size as me. Correct. Which means I need to change the size of its token. But go ahead and uh, roll them bones. Oh, good lord. More uh, 28 points of damage. All right. It did not change the size of the token. What the... Uh... Uh, it changed the size of the um, there we the go. box for a second. There we go. That's fixed. All right. Let me apply this damage to this guy. Because <clears throat> all that resize may have been for nothing. Eh, it's a nice effect. And it's going to try and soak it. And it does su succeed at soaking one, but it's still dead because it didn't get enough wounds soaked. All right. That'll take us to... Blizz. Blizz, you see the one still there. Yep, I see the one still there. Real close to my homie Thid. Hi. So we're going to bolt twice. Excellent. So first two actions. Targeting. It was a hit, not a raise. Indeed. With a total of four. Uh, you going to fish for the raise or? Yeah, I got a free Benny. Let's try it. There it is. Oh, well, that definitely hit with a raise. Why could that have been the damage roll? As... Oh, well, well, well. and the damage roll is taken off too. That'll be two wounds. It is going to try and soak. And it does successfully soak one of them. But that just, I don't know, it has no wounds normally. So um, that ends the fight before Spike can even get involved. And as the last of the ogres fall... Um, that is where we will pick up next time as we're, we've, we've crossed the hour long threshold. So thanks for watching everybody. I hope you've enjoyed our show this evening and we will see you next time. Bye everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.